All right, guys, today we got a little bit different kind of video. Wanted to cover a, a simple water solution for you guys. Uh, we, we've all been there. You're either sitting around the house or maybe you come home from work and you find the power's out. Um, mild inconvenience. Sometimes it's good. It actually makes you slow down, think about the things that are really important in life. But if, like me and my neighbors around here, you have a well, now you've got a compounded problem. I have four women in my house. A flushing toilet is not a luxury, it is a necessity. Um, sure, you can run a generator and run your well pump. That gets expensive fast. Um, we all store water, um, you know, in however you store it, two liter bottles, drums, whatever. But, you know, toting that through the house and pouring it in the toilet tank and flushing your toilets is a real pain in But you can always institute the old, if it's yellow, let it mellow for the brown, flush it down policy. Or we've got a real easy solution here, how you can bring the water pressure right back up in your house, really easy, really fast, and pretty inexpensively. So we're gonna get you to take a look at that real fast. I'll show it to you, and then we're going to show you the kind of water pressure that this little system will actually put out. Okay, guys, what we have here is a small 12 volt on demand pump that's used in like marine, um, RV, agriculture applications. Um, it's a 5.5 gallon per minute 45 psi pump tied into a 15 gallon drum. I store water in these because it is easier to move this by myself than it is 55 gallon drum. 440 pounds. You're not going to move that by yourself very far, very often. 15 gallons, you can move this. You can move this pretty easy by yourself. It's no big deal. So, you tie the pump in, you connect one end of the hose, or one side of the pump, the discharge side, to a hose bib going to your house. The, in, the intake side, obviously, connected to this hose, dropping down into the tank. You go valve your well out. Most wells have a check valve in them. Some don't. It's better just to valve it out so you know it's not an issue. Open the hose bib up turn the pump on, you're now back feeding pressure into your house. I pulled my truck up and we're just running this off of my truck for now, but if you had a 12 volt battery, deep cycle out of your boat, whatever, you could set it here and run it. We also have a power solution coming up that we'll show you guys in another video that would run this for you. So now you got water to your house. You can flush your toilets, you can use the sink, you can take a shower if you need to. It'd be a cold shower, but you can take a shower. This will make life a lot easier. And this is a short term fix. It'll run for quite a while, but this is a short term fix. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the farthest hose bib away on this property and show you guys what the water pressure looks like. And it, I was pretty impressed by what it could put out. So hang on for a minute and we'll go show you that. We're going to have to cut this one short. we got weather moving in, but we want to show you. We're about 200 feet away from where that little pump's hooked up. Water pressure is a relative thing. As we know, it's running through a pipe. It's all about volume and the pressure applied on the other end. But just to give you an idea of what that little bitty pump can do, it'll push some water coming out of that little drum. It'll do the same thing in your house, your shower heads, your sink, whatever, your dishwasher, <laughs> kind of hard to run it unless you're running a generator, but you can flush your toilets, you can wash your hands, you can keep things sanitary in your house when the power's out, and that's what this is about. It's quick, it's easy, and it's fairly inexpensive. Those pumps are less than 200 bucks. You can get the drums online, $45-ish, give or take where you find them, um, but this is a simple, fast way to do it. If your car is in the garage, run a hose out, from the hose outside of the hose bib, run it in, connect it to the pump, drop one in a barrel right there in the garage, flip the hood up, connect the pump, you've got water back to your house immediately. It's a great little way to do it and cheap. All right, and just to give you an idea what the water pressure is like, this one's actually kind of close to where we're actually running from, but this is what this little pump will produce for you. Pretty much just like what your well's gonna put out. Same pressure, the pump's running, I don't know if you can hear it in the background. But it's running right now, pumping water. So in closing guys, little 12 volt pump on demand. This is a five gallon per minute. I was wrong earlier when I said 5.5. Five gallon per minute, 45 PSI cutoff, 16 PSI max pressure. You can get these online. There'll be an article to follow the video with links where you guys can get these. And the 15 gallon drum, handy, easy way to store water. Easy way to put water back in your house. And not only that, there's other things you can do with these. Um, we got some more videos coming up where we're going to show this system being used for some things that aren't necessarily uh, emergency related, um, but are fun and been pretty damn handy too, that the family will enjoy. So keep an eye open for these. We also have a power system video coming up where we can power this thing. It's a set it and forget it, walk away, don't have to worry about it kind of system. So keep your eyes open for that, coming soon as well. And uh, thanks for checking us out. We're going to head in because the weather's moving in on us.